Hi, my name's Amy. I work for EKM. Um, we're based in Preston, but obviously I'm working from home at the minute. Um, I work as a UX UI designer. Um, my job is kind of to make our platform the best experience for our customers that it can be. So that can be anything. Um, it's really, really broad. So it can be, you know, if there's any little bug fixes and things like that, just to make things better. It can range from something like that to entire new feature builds. Um, so say for instance, we're, we're at the minute we're building a blog feature um, and that's a really big job. So you can kind of see the scope of something that's really small. Uh, that's like a quick impactful thing and then a really large feature. So my, my day is really different every single day, which is, which is great. So the skill set you need for my job in UX and UI is pretty varied. So um, for people that don't know, UX stands for user experience and UI is user interface. Yeah. Um, so you do, you do need to have a relatively broad kind of skill set. So um, I mentioned a while ago that I worked in customer service. Um, that's actually quite a big, that, that plays quite a big part in what I do now because you need to be able to speak to people um, and it's not as simple as kind of just listening to what they say. So we actually run uh, every couple of weeks, we run what we call usability sessions where obviously everything's done by video at the minute, but um, usually we'd, we'd sit down with people and we'd get them to test out prototypes. And it's not so much just like listening to what they're saying, it's actually watching what they're doing and things like that. Like, like, so your observation skills have, have got to be kind of tip top type of thing. And I think just, uh, wanting to help people um, and wanting to kind of help them get what they want to achieve. So the whole thing about EKM is do something that you love and we're really passionate about helping people do that. Um, so if we can make their experience on our platform easier, you know, that, that's a really big part of my job. That's probably the biggest part of my job is wanting to help people be successful. Um, and then the other, the other kind of side of that. So that's more like the UX side of things. Um, looking at you know users' experience of your platform and how they use it. Um, so the other side of things is just having a, a strong design background. You know, employers are probably going to be bothered about what's in your portfolio. So if even if you can set yourself projects, um, you know, again, there's some really good resources online um, where you can find uh, briefs and things like that. So you can find a brief for a project and you can actually do the project yourself and you can use that work as part of your portfolio. <laughs> I guess like in, in terms of like weaknesses and things like that, it's for me, I, I still, I'm a proper perfectionist. I don't like putting things in front of people unless they finish, but that's just not realistic in like a modern workplace. That's just, you know, with time restrictions and things like that, that's just not realistic. So it's a really good skill to try and learn. What I try and do is I get something to a point where I'm like 80% happy with it. And then because it specifically, I mean, this is specific to UX and UI. So um, we work in like a, we call it iterative uh, process. So what we'll do is we'll build something, we'll design something. It'll go in front of customers. Um, they'll probably like some bits of it. They won't like some other bits of it. And then we go around and do the whole process again until we've got, you know, until we've got the thing perfect. Um, so don't be afraid of not, um, not being perfect. Mm -hmm. prepared to work because it is hard work to get in it's worth it when you get there it really is I, I genuinely love my job and I can say that I genuinely love my job and I'm really lucky you know not, not many people can say that um, so it's worth the time and the effort thank you for watching bye mm -hmm.